Today we're going to talk about letting go to be free, or I'll even say rejecting. Because we've got to continually be rejecting the things that we've been holding on to, to, to have the thing that's next for us. So take about, uh, think about school. When you go to school, you actually have to reject school at a certain point. Even if you love school, even if you've done really well at school, even if you're the best at school, you still at some point have to reject it to go to the next thing, right? Because you just stop going to school as a student, and then you go and work the thing that, that uh, you've been studying for. And then when you don't, there's certain things that, you know, the perpetual students, uh, there's a certain uh, uh, lack of creation that happens when you don't move on and start to apply it. Or uh, you, you move on from your dolls when you're a kid, and you reject them, and you grow up and you want to have a life that the dolls you used to play and now, now you're playing it. Or how about rejecting or giving up everything when you go to sleep? You lay down and you reject your spouse. You reject the, everything that's happened throughout the day. You give it all up so that you can rest and go unconscious. And in a similar way, the things that we hold on to the most and we're unwilling to give up, those are the things that hold us back. Uh, because there's always an evolution and a, and, a, and a progression in our lives. So what are the things that you hold on to the most? Those are the things, if you don't hold them loosely and allow it to come and go, uh, it's actually holding, you're holding yourself back by holding on to those things so much. You, and we could see that those kind of things with like people in controlling relationships. You're like, oh, of course, controlling relationships. But what makes people not want to be controlled. Well, it's the other person grabbing on versus you hold the things you love with an open hand and they come in or they go either way and you enjoy them while they're here, but you let them, you, you let go and you let them leave and you let life change and you let life evolve. It's truly a dying process, but the, the thing that's crazy or counterintuitive is when you let things die, when you let go, when you reject everything, there's always new life. There's always new abundance that, that happens. There's the new relationships. There's the new opportunities. There's the new jobs. There's the new roles. There's the new endeavors, the new creations. Yeah, you're writing a book. You're having new conversations with new interesting people and on and on and on it goes. But when at the other side of the things, when you don't let new things happen, you end up with the same things every day and they start to become stale. And just like the pond with maybe an inlet where the water came in but no outlet, it starts to get moldy and it's, it's not fresh with life and it starts to create death in a different way. So if you embrace death, you'll create life. If you reject death, then you'll actually create death in your life. Kind of crazy, I know. But what are the things that you love the most that you can hold with an open hand and be willing to let go and I wonder what kind of new life would come about for for you for us